Hey guys, it's Paul. Following on from my last video about Facebook scams, I went through and I uh, saw that you can turn two-step authentication on on Facebook. And I'm going to do it on my account uh, in front of you so you can do it as well. Turn this on. Do it because if someone hacks your account, there's a lot of information, a lot of personal stuff. They can delete your account. They can hold. They can bribe you to uh, give your account back and blackmail, I guess. So, turn this on. As I said in that previous video, it's very hard, if not impossible, to hack your account if this is turned on. So, if we go to settings at the top, which is your account, the little heart, go settings and privacy, and just go settings. At the top, it'll say security and login. And down the bottom here, we are looking at use two-factor authentication. We'll ask for a code when you log in. So, it's going to be a little bit more awkward when you're logging in via different devices, it, it'll ask you at first on um, whatever site you, you log into. But if, if that uh, web browser or your for some reason your IP on your phone gets changed, the device, they'll just send you another uh, login, right? So we click on two uh, enable two-factor authentication. And the easiest way to do it is with the uh, Google authentication app. If you've got a Gmail account or you've got a YouTube channel, you've probably already got that app. So you could use that. If you don't have it, you don't want to put another app on your phone. That's fair enough. Let's just do it with a text message. So we're going to go and uh, here, use text message, SMS to receive verification code. For your protection, phone numbers used for two-factor authentic can't be used to reset your password. In case you lose your phone, right? But we're going to turn it on. We're going to add the phone number, right? So I'm going to put in my phone number. Don't phone me. And a, dig a code is going to come to your phone, right? If you put your phone number in properly. Come on. Let's see how long it takes to come. There we go. Facebook sent me a message. So if I show you, because I can show you my code. I don't know if you can read it. But it basically just says Facebook gave me the code 009853 is your Facebook confirmation code. Right, so 009853. Doesn't matter that I tell you that because that will change as soon as it's been used. And we'll send you, basically, we'll send you a verification code to this number if we notice the attempt logging from a device or browser that we don't recognize. So if you go to a different computer, or if somewhere in the world somebody tries to log into your account, you will get a verification, right? So let me turn that off. So it is now set, right? So if I log in to my Facebook on a different browser, if I bring up a different browser and try to log into Facebook, Uh, da, 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 da. Do, yeah, Facebook. Accept all and then log in. Uh, I'll log in. And now, here we go two factor authentication. So I'm going to get to my phone the code to log in. It will remember me on this browser until this browser resets, which we'll do as well, right? So here we go. Here's my code. 998989. Save the browser. Uh, or don't save it. So if you're not going to hang about on this computer, don't save it. But you can save it. So the next time you log in, it will... Uh, I don't know where I've got a message from. New message from Mac. Right, next time you log in on this browser, it won't ask me for that information, right? So if I log in as me, I'm getting emails saying that I've logged in, so I don't get asked the browser information, right? Now, if this browser is reset, if I clear the history, right, I get logged out, and now I log back in. So I've refreshed the browser. I am pretty sure I'm going to get asked for two-step authentication because the browser is reset. And now I'm going to get asked for a code again. 
we shall receive a code. So if you think or that you don't want other people to log in on your browser, just, just clear the cache, clear the settings, clear the history. Uh, there's my code. Five three four eight one six and I am in again save to the browser or don't save to the browser whatever you want to do but it is an idea to turn it on because the hackers haven't worked out a way to get around this yet uh, because they need your phone and when they don't have your phone they can't log in if you've watched that previous video about the scams you know they're getting your security questions they know your um, they know your name, they may have your email address through other apps that you've signed up for, uh, but when two-factor authentication is on, it also stops anybody else who might have your password logging in that you don't want to log in. So you might have told people your password, uh, you might have people, friends and family, husbands, boyfriends, wives, that you don't want to log in. You'll know, you might say to them, uh, I don't mind you logging in, but uh, you're going to have to get a code off my phone every time you do, and you'll know when they've logged in. Just sort of be an idea, if you can do it on any website, you can. Obviously, the biggest ball ache is um, if, the, uh, if your phone dies, if you can't charge your phone, you can't log in anywhere. But it is a double security measure that I would recommend everybody use. Hope that helps. Any questions, fire away in the comments. Any other websites you want to see how to turn it on uh, and it isn't obvious, I can do videos on. Uh, try and keep yourself secure online the best you can. See you soon. Thanks.